right, I am back with another Destiny 2 video. Uh, I was gone on vacation for almost a week and I was writing, I wasn't doing videos. But now I'm back and uh, something caught my eye this morning. It is a rumor article which, yeah, I don't know, but there have been a lot of leaks <laughs> as of late especially, so I'm inclined to maybe believe at least some of it. Um, not really a long article, so I will uh, read it here quickly. This is from um, the Game Post, which is Destiny Bulletin, you may know by now. Uh, it's a rumor about Black Armory weapons returning for Into the Light. And Into the Light, um, all we know about it for sure is that it is some sort of April-May activity that is supposed to be both for veterans and onboarding new players, indicating it's free, I'm pretty sure. And they said something about it'll touch content that you haven't thought about in a while. So I don't know if that's bringing things back from old things or it was like sunset things or if it's like they're going to do another blind well pass like they did. Maybe that's in this article. I haven't actually read the full article yet. I just heard about the, the idea that Black Armory era weapons are returning. So let's go through this. Um, following the Guardian Games update, many fans discovered clues that suggest the return of a long favorite, a long awaited fan favorite weapons, Season of the Forge and the Into the Light update. Season of the Wish, the last ever season in Destiny 2, went live last year. And while the seasonal story may be concluded, there's still a lot happening in game thanks to the new major update released this week. Um, at, after the Guardian game update was released on Tuesday, fans took to Today in Destiny. Uh, you know, Today in Destiny. And noticed the calendar was updated with some new items returning in the future. The calendar for the rest of the season will bring back many old favorites and introduce some new items as well. However, what really caught the attention of many players are the two weapon ornaments, namely Itsy Bitsy Spider and Great White for the Recluse Submachine Gun and the Hammerhead Heavy Machine Gun, respectively, that players will be able to purchase via Bright Dust or earnable in-game currency that can be used in the Eververse store. The updated season's Eververse calendar is packed with new and returning items. However, what's causing a stir among many players are the two specific weapon ornaments... Did they just repeat that paragraph? I think they did. <laughs> uh, unless this website is just messing up with me. Okay. According to Tay and Dusty, these can be obtained with Bright Dust, and um, that should be how you get them uh, if they do exist. So considering that um, the Eververse calendar has these ornaments coming back, uh, it's possible that we may see these Sunset Weapons reissued uh, with Into the Light. Um, that's a little bit of a stretch, <laughs> I would say. Uh, we, uh, we also have something where they added a, a, um, Whisper of the Worm ornaments and the speculation that they might be bringing back the Whisper. Um, this isn't really a secret. This is, you know, Bungie said that they were going to start with the old exotic mission rotator, um, with the three that we have now. And then they were going to add more in the future. Uh, it stood to reason that they were going to add some of their most classic ones, like the Whisper and Zero Hour. We don't know if maybe that's happening for Into the Light. I'm not 100% sure. But the idea that uh, Black Armory era weapons may be coming back is an interesting one. Um, I think it's kind of a good idea if we don't really know <laughs> what else is uh, supposed to be happening. Like, I, I never thought that this was going to be something like, uh, you know, some giant unvaulting of content or some significantly new content uh, like we got for the 30th anniversary. That was never really going to be in the cards. Um, I do wonder if it could be like, hey, we brought Forges back, uh, considering a lot of the Forges, all of the Forges are in existing uh, areas that were in the Nessus ones, were through, there were EDZ ones. I think they're all in non sunset areas. Not that I'm not even sure that matters. Maybe you could just launch individual instances of them anyway. Uh, Forges, I think we have a little bit of a, a fond memory of, but they were not the most engaging content, especially you do all that work for like one drop of something. Uh, but I, you know, that's something that may be small enough where maybe they could bring Forges back if they were going to bring uh, Black Armory stuff back. Uh, you know, we, I don't need, I don't think we need to spiral into, oh, Scourge of the Past is coming back. Like, you, you know, it's a little bit high on the, the pipe dream list, at least for this update. I think that's, that would be a, a bit of a stretch. Um, in terms of Recluse and Hammerhead. So it would, it's interesting because when you think of, uh, weapons returning, you know, to the game, 
it's usually like from the season, which would be like Kindled Orchid, Blast Furnace, Hammerhead, like those literal Black Armory weapons. And I guess they kind of had their counterparts in the raid as well uh, in the same kind of style. It's not really like necessarily the, what are they called? You used to call ritual weapons? I don't even remember anymore. It's been so long, but like Recluse and Mountaintop and, and Not Forgotten and Luna's Howl. Like, I think those were all in the same era uh, in terms of when they launched. So the idea now is that Bungie will bring those back, including the really, really good ones that were pretty much the reason that sunsetting was invented in the first place. Uh, but it is hard to believe, you know, they'd have, they're, they're not going to be these fixed role monsters the way they were before. If you bring back Recluse, it's, it's going to be kind of a shadow of its former self uh, compared to the larger picture of how Destiny works now. The uh, Black Armory weapons themselves also, like, I still, you know, up until I got, you know, Sunset, I was using Hammerhead all the time. That was my favorite uh, machine gun. I, um, Blast Furnace is one of my all-time favorite weapons. But, like, we also have to think about, like, back then, the exciting roles you could get were things like Kill Clip and Rampage on Kindled Orchid, like the classic. Um, there just weren't that many perks. There weren't that many interesting perks. There weren't subclass 3.0s. This is a long, long-ass time ago. So obviously these things would be coming with dramatically updated perk pools and the god rolls of whatever we had before will probably look like kind of di- a dime a dozen now. Even if even if those stick, you're going to want, you know, your, I for, is Blast Furnace Arc? I don't remember. I don't know. You're going to want your Incandescent and your Volt Shot and all this crap uh, for all this different stuff. And uh, so if they did come back, I would expect that to be... Um, the form they take in coming back. I'm less sure about the idea of recluse and like mountaintop and stuff coming back. Um, maybe they will. It would just be a little odd, I think, to see those return. There's been sort of like mixed results, like breakneck's back. Like it's the gambit weapon, but like is anybody really using breakneck or is it like remotely as beloved as it was in the past? Yeah, probably not. I don't think there's a harm in it. It's just sort of a reminder of like, look at what we used to have. <laughs> and now we don't have that. Um, that's why I think the Black Army weapons would be a little more exciting because those were just a lot of fan favorite weapons that were fun to use. They feel really good. They look awesome. And then getting those with new perks on them. Hell yeah, I'll farm whatever the hell you want me to farm for those. Sure, why not? Uh, we will see uh, how this pans out. This is a little bit of a stretch, I would say, just based on the Eververse ornaments. Um I would probably need more information past that. I don't know if there is data mining stuff about this. I haven't looked. Uh, I generally try to stay away from data mining when it comes to Destiny stuff, but I don't know. Sometimes you just, you can't help it. Uh, We'll see. Uh, I think this would be a good idea. I do think it would need to come with some sort of like something of substance, even if it's just bringing the forge back with some modifications. Like, yes, forges were not the most exciting thing, but it would at least be something. Uh, you could bring Menagerie back, and uh, you could farm Black Armory weapons from Menagerie, <laughs> considering they already brought, brought back the Menagerie weapons. Um, some of those were pretty good. Uh, we'll see. I don't know when we're going to learn more about this officially. It is starting in April, so we are only like three weeks away from April now. So probably in the next, you know, at least two weeks, I would say. I, I don't know if they'll drop everything on us at the last minute, but... Um, you know, at some point they're gonna have to tell us what exactly this is here. Where we've, you know, Guardian Games has hit. We had the surprise reveal of the skimmer. We have, uh, you know, um, what do we just do? The ribbons, wishes, and stuff like that. That's over now. So it's it's probably time to move on to the next thing. So I don't know. Maybe not next week, but hopefully the week after that we would start getting some kind of significant information about what Into the Light is, so we can tell all our friends and have them come on board in Destiny. Uh, it does have to be something more than just like earning black armory weapons. Like if it's an onboarding thing, it needs to be an actual activity. I, I hope it's not just, you know, here's the list of strikes in chronological order, like do those for onboarding. I, I don't know, but I'm certainly willing to hear them out. Uh, I know stuff is being, you know, worked on for this. Like that's not just like, you know, shuffling around uh, uh, content you know, with maybe some new modifiers. I, I'm, I don't know exactly what it is, but something is being worked on, even if it's not going to be at the level of new content that we got from 30th Anniversary or Dares of Eternity or something. You know, I would just really like a new thing of Dares of Eternity. Like, just do Dares of Eternity again, but, like, new games. That would be fun. I would like that. <laughs> Dares of Eternity is a really good activity. Let us farm the, you know, 
kill clip rampage kittle dork it from there anyway uh yeah so we'll we'll see if this pans out we'll probably know in a couple of weeks but thanks for watching and i'll talk to you soon take care